Hey everyone, it's Nelia, and today I'm bringing you this office chair revamp DIY. And what started off as just a revamp project became ah, uh, let's fix this broken chair now project. <laughs> as you can see, the top kind of bent and broke. So yeah, <laughs> here's Bay trying to figure out how to fix it, <laughs> put it back together. But in the end, we figured it out and it became a really great chair. So the first thing you want to do is just take the chair completely apart and here I am wiping down the chair insides because I plan to paint this and as you can see also I took the wheels off because I wanted those to stay black but you don't have to if you want to spray paint those too that's fine but yeah just take it apart wipe it down get all the dust and grime off and then you can move on to the next step. So here we are outside on my patio, just spray painting the chair. I wanted to go with a silver metallic color to match my room, and it's also just my favorite little color to go with. But yeah, we just spray painted it, let it sit outside to dry, came back with a second coat, and it turned out really well. So here are the faux rugs that we used for my chair. These are just two regular rugs from Five Below, $5 a piece. And I got this idea from a girl named Sarah from Sarah and Tip Trippity. I'll um, link her channel below, but she used these rugs for her chair and I thought that was a brilliant idea. So we're just gonna lay out the rugs and put them on the tops and bottoms of the chair, measure them out, cut them out, staple them in, and yeah. Here I'm just showing you guys the staple gun that I got from Joann's. You guys should definitely get your staple gun from there. They have coupons. It was super affordable. I think around like $10 or so. So yeah, check them out for the staple gun. Now you can see here as I cut it, the fur gets like all over the place, which don't worry. When you're completely done with the project, I recommend vacuuming the chair. It will vacuum up all the excess fur that might fall off and just keep it clean and neat. And you don't have to worry about it. The fur won't shed. It's a good chair. But yeah, that's my advice for you. Don't worry about the fur. Now here's the fun part. As you can see, he's holding down the fur around the chair and we're filling out the wood of the chair so I can staple it down so it's nice and secure. And yeah, you just keep doing this all around the chair and at the end you want to cut off all the excess that you see. Simple, you know, take some time, you know, you want a neat chair at the end, but it's totally worth it. So here I'm showing you the bottom of the chair and my recommendation is to keep any leftover fur pieces that you might have. I had to use extra little pieces from the first rug to cover the bottom of the chair because it was a little bit bigger than the rug but it all worked out in the end with the excess pieces. So here is the result of the spray paint. It came out really nice. That's the back. It dried really fast and it came out really pretty. I liked the result of that. And here is Bay putting the chair all together. He also was able to fix the back of it. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. 
So here's the finished result guys. It came out really nice. Keeping the wheels black was a good idea. It's a good contrast and the fur was nice and fluffy and the paint, everything just went so well together. It was definitely better than it was before and it's super comfortable. Sitting in it right now, it's doing well. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys try this out if you want to revamp an old office chair or you can even pick one up from the Goodwill and revamp it. It's a fun little project to do. It was affordable too, only like under $20 altogether for the supplies. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.